Hey guys, this week on uh, for our uh, video series, it's going to take a little bit of a different uh, turn for this week due to some issues with my setup. So we are doing random grab bag the entire week. And I've done the, uh, the picks already and it's all PSP games. So we'll just call this a uh, PSP week for the uh, crash looks this week. And so today's game is Echo Shift. This is a uh, PlayStation Network title for the PSP. It is a sort of spin-off of Echo Chrome. So if you remember that game back in the day, it's sort of a a 3D perspective puzzle game where you basically rotate the level around to connect parts of the level that aren't actually connected to let your sort of marionette uh, get around. So let's hop into Echo Ship. This is, as you can tell from just the look of it, it is a side-scrolling game. This is made by Artoon, who has made a bunch of really weird games back on the PS2 and even before that. So we're going to hop into the first level here. Basically, as you can see here, it's based your uh, score is sort of based on the level itself. And so here we have this level. Okay, here's the zoomed out version. You can see that we want to get um, from the silver door up to the brown door, bronze door, whatever call that. You want to call that. So you can see we got these two blue and red switches here that will turn on the um, stuff up above. So th the way this game plays is that you use your little puppets to manipulate the level so that at least one puppet can get from the en beginning to the end. So here we're going to sort of show you. So here we're going to move him over here have him interact with this. I forget if that thing goes... Okay, that thing stays like that. So we're going to drop down here. Turn this on. That's going to be the end of this run for him. That's all he can do. So there we go. And this is essentially a really cool sort of idea for a game because now we're going to have the second guy come out. And now he's going to navigate the level based on okay. what the first guy did. So we're going to go up here. Wait for him to turn this on. Okay. And now we're going to wait for him to get up here and... Turn on this other thing. So it's definitely sort of a really uh, really cool aspect of seeing how the first guy did it, playing as the second guy, and seeing how you can go a lot faster. So we did that three stars because I played this before. It reacts a little bit weird. I played through, I believe, these first up to here C5. So we did that. And there are different sort of versions of each stage. There's cast, key, and illusion. I'm not entirely sure. Let's try that first stage. See the goal is locked. Locate the key hidden inside the stage to access the goal. So let's try that and see what that is. As you can see I only played that level in key the key mode so let's see what this is so as you can see it's the same game except now we have this key that's over here so let's play let's see if we can do this in two guys let's turn this on go up here we use this little bumper 
to get up here. Now we have the key, and that basically unlocks the rest of the level. So now we're going to go down here, turn that on, and there we go. And I could have done a lot better if I had just walked over to the other switch. But oh well. That's sort of the thing that always happens. So now we're going to start with our second guy. Play, Play with him. Now the rest of this is going to be me waiting around for him to go down here and eventually eventually turn on that switch. Now we should have enough time to get over here and we're done. Excellent. So that's a pretty cool like little twist on it. So not only do you have to hit the switches to allow you to get to the end of the level but you also have to get a key. So here, press the R button to bring up the bring the world to a standstill for up to three seconds per cast. Use it to your advantage and break new records. I'm not exactly sure what that means. So the same Good guides luck. for the basic thing. So let's play this and see what that means. Oh. oh, that's cool. So basically, you can move for three seconds. I believe I can... There we go. Next cast. So if I'm done doing what I'm doing, I can hit next cast. Replay. So this will be interesting to see how that looks from the other side. As your turns this on, he just shows up over there. Okay, that's really cool. So this helps you get much better times. So that's that's really cool. Yeah, let's return to stage select. So there you see sort of the three main modes that are in all of these levels. Wow, there's a lot of levels. And just like the original Echochrome, there are some downloaded stages. So people can make their own stages. I believe that's under it, etc. Maybe not. Those might just be some DLC stages they released. I didn't take a look at what exactly those were. So let's hop into a later stage. Okay, so I played up until this level. So obviously let's hop into here and see how this goes. Okay, so we got three guys to get uh, three stars. Good luck. Okay, so we got a bunch of switches here. And I believe those switches on the floor requires you to stand on them. I believe that's the case. So this is where it gets tricky. So basically you want to get down here. Oops. Oops. Okay, so you can die. But let's restart this. Because I want this to look as good as it can. So we got 50 seconds total to work with here. Good luck. And so the tricky part is trying to figure out how long you're going to need these guys to stand on their spots. So I figure this guy's going to hold this. So the next one can get onto that red. So I think that's enough time for that. Okay, that turns that off. There we go. We want that. Okay, I see. So we need somebody to come over here and stand on this. 
Oh, the other person stands on this. And then we got these two to come over here. Okay. So here we're basically just messing around. Trying to figure out how everything goes. So let's see if we can figure this out in the next few minutes. Replay. So now that I've messed around a lot. We're on the blue, so we fall down. Stand up here. So the third guy can walk across. I'm not sure what that bottom part is. So here basically. We need those two guys to stand there. I'll just stand here for the rest of this. Okay. So let's see how badly we mess that up for the next guy. So we're onto our third cast here. Replay. Let's play. Let's see if we did anything right at all. So now there's our previous cat two casts. Oh. This guy's gonna hold this up. That goes off. I can't do anything with that just yet. Like that. And I need this. Now there's no way for me to get up. So what I need is one of them to come over here and stay on the green. So I can get up here. Get over here. Okay. Then I needed the guy on the yellow to stay there. So the next guy, I'm going to have... I'm going to go stand on the yellow. Just stand on the entire time. Replay. So this is sort of how you do it the first time. When it's not blatantly obvious what's going on. So we need this. That guy comes over, stands in the blue. What's this? So now that we got that, we're gonna go to the next cast. Replay. So now we need somebody to come up here, stand on the green. At least when that is needed. So I don't think we need anybody else on the green anymore. Now these guys are going to do their things. Yeah, see I cannot get down, so... Go to our next cast, and this will be where we're done. It took me six guys. Which isn't too bad on the first try. That sort of thing where you keep working on it, it will get better over time. To figure out, you know, where these guys need to go. Basically, as soon as that guy gets his thing done. I can go down here, and we're done. So there's sort of the process of figuring it out. 
This level is sort of decently far into the campaign. So now we're done with that. Here we go, we've beaten that one. And so that's Echo, Echo Shift. It's a really cool game, sort of a really cool twist on the sort of original idea for Echo Chrome. Sort of brings it into a really neat sort of puzzle mechanic. That is on the uh, PSP, and I believe it's compatible with the Vita. I'm not entirely sure if it's directly on the Vita store, but at least should be transferable from the PS3 to the P to the Vita. So definitely, it's a, a cool game that you should check out if you like what you see here. I believe it's 9.99. I believe that's the price. It might have been 15. I'm not entirely sure. So right here you got seven just over sixty levels here. Three different modes for each level. It's a lot of a lot of content there for uh, this sort of puzzle game. So definitely if you like what you see, go check it out on PlayStation Network. And I will see you guys again next time.